Hi everyone, this short little video is just supposed to explain the difference between the price level and the inflation rate. Now there's many, many different types of price levels, but they're all supposed to do one basic thing. So if you think of the price level, that's supposed to be a measure of the average price of goods and services. Of goods and services. Okay, and prices are usually measured relative to a base year. So, for example, if the price level were was suppose the price level today was oh I don't know let's call it uh, 105, and the price level in the base year is 100, which it normally is. We normally normalize the price level to the base year as 100, though you don't have to, but that's what we normally do then that, what that would say is price levels today or the average price of goods and services today are 5% higher than what they were in the base year. So the price level is just telling you about the level of prices. On the other hand, inflation, and I'm going to use this a lot during the semester, so I have a nice short abbreviation for inflation. Inflation is the growth rate of a price level. Right, of a price level. And I'm running out of space, but I'll try to do it here. So what we can say is the inflation rate today is just the price level today divided by the price level yesterday minus 1. Right? And so in this calculation, 2% inflation would show up as 0 0.02, 5% is 0 0.05, so it's also pretty common to just go ahead and multiply by 100. So 2% inflation would be 2, and 5% inflation would be 5. All right, as I said, there's many different types of price levels. We actually talked about one in the previous chapter uh, on GDP, where we looked at the GDP deflator, which is a measure of the average prices of goods and services produced within the United States. So that includes the prices of all consumer goods, but, um, produced within the United States. It includes the average price of all investment goods, all government goods, etc., and the average price of all net exports. Now, so one way you can calculate the price level is just calculate the growth rate of inflation. In fact, we did that in one of the earlier videos. I just didn't call it inflation. Now, another common price level is the consumer price index, which we'll talk a little bit more about in the next video. Um, but there are others. There's the personal consumption expenditure index. That's actually the preferred measure of prices for the Federal Reserve. And all the personal consumption expenditure, or PCE index, does is shows you the average prices of goods and services bought by U.S. consumers. So if you think of your national income identity where real GDP is consumption plus investment plus government plus net exports, the personal consumption expenditure index is the average price of the things that go into C, personal consumption expenditures. And, you know, there's really thousands upon thousands of these things, but really the ones that we're going to focus most on are either the GDP deflator, or the consumer price index, or the personal consumption expenditure. And they all follow the same basic pattern. You've got a price index, and the way to measure the price and think about the price index is the price level today it might be 105 and in the base year it's 100 so you're saying prices are 5% higher today than they were in the base year and if you wanted to calculate the annual inflation rate you would just go ahead and use this formula and it would go ahead and give it to you. Alright that's enough for just the distinction between price level and inflation. In the next video it's going to be a little bit more about what exactly is the consumer price index.